Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and this is a uh, this is just a quick tour of the Free Flight Six app, and this is the app that uh, uh, that at least currently is used for the Paradinafi. And you've got cinema shots or sign shots, however you want to do it, cinema shots. You've got 360 reveal, rise, and epic. You've got manual flight. You've got cameraman. You've got follow me which has an unlock and I think that means you got to buy it and uh, I'm not a fan of of in-app purchases I think that's something that Parrot definitely needs to to do away with if if they do plan to seriously compete with people with uh, companies like DJI uh, you got smart dronies touch and fly and then also flight plan, plan which is another pay-to-play feature and I again I don't like that over here you've got speed you've got film or you've got sport now, obviously, I'm going to fly in film mode because, you know, that's that's why I fly a drone. I like to capture very smooth and very cinematic 4K video. So uh, I'm going to keep it in film. Uh, you've got an option here where you can choose between video or photo. Uh, let's see, photo mode. Let's see what all we've got here. You've got single or timer. You got auto, keep it in auto. JPEG wide, DNG plus JPEG. That's the setting I'm gonna use. A DNG is raw. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with photography, you know that raw images are gonna provide you the most flexibility within post production. So, uh, also let's look at video settings. I bounced over to video. Uh, we've got 4K 30. We could do 25 or 24 as well. We could also do 1080p. And if we opted for 1080p, we've got 30 frames per second, 25 or 24. Um, I'm gonna do 4K, because I film everything in 4K now. And you'll notice up above there, kind of towards the middle, it says HDR. Huh. Okay, so I toggled that, now let me turn it off. Okay, so that's HDR off, and that's HDR on, and even within the app view, you can see what a difference HDR makes. So that's, that's really cool. And HDR, if you're not familiar, that's high dynamic range. So just a, a really, what really makes the camera on this thing shine is, is, uh, is the HDR, the high dynamic range. And then video mode, you've got standard cinema, hyperlapse, slow motion, High frame rate, let's see what cinema has. Uh, let's see, video mode cinema. I've been filming everything up until, the, up until this point in, uh, in standard. Hyperlapse, slow motion. Okay, so slow motion kicks it to 1080p 60 frames per second. High frame rate is 1080p 60 frames per second. Hmm. And standard kicked me back to uh, 4K 24 frames. I'll go back to standard and then I'm going to select. Let's see. 4K 30. I prefer 4K 30. A lot of people say that oh man 24 frames is more cinematic again I prefer 4k 30 so that's what I'm going to stick it on and then style you've got natural or p-log that's interesting they got log video formats if you really want to go in kind of like a raw photo um, you know uh, a log when you're dealing with video that's a way to to increase your flexibility within videos post-production and of course, at the top, it goes without saying we've got uh, we got our GPS, and then our let's see, our controller battery life 99%, our drone battery life 94%. I didn't have it completely charged when I went out here. And then let's see, one thing I haven't found is how to go between meters and feet, because some people would prefer to see it in feet versus meters. You can calibrate the camera. 
you can choose the hyperlapse speed. You can go as high as 240 times. You can change your default settings. And you can change your, uh, your speed here. Again, I'm in film mode, so you can see all these parameters. These are just the default parameters, and I felt like, uh, I felt like Parrot did a really good job of, of setting default parameters that, that made everything slow and cinematic for my intended use case, which is filming videos in 4K with this. So I haven't adjusted any of those, but if you chose to do so, you could. You've got max altitude. I say 300 meters, and obviously in most areas you probably wouldn't want to go above 400 feet. Check your local regulations in your country. Um, but let's see, meters to feet. So if you've got 300 meters, that's 1,000 feet. So 30 meters, what would that be, 100 feet? And obviously I'll keep those on a... I want a setting there to be safe and responsible. I could, you know, could bump them up a little bit, but for my intended use case of filming a very smooth and cinematic video, I don't need to be that high anyway. I mean, 400 feet is way up there. I don't need to. I don't need to be anywhere close to that. So, anyway, yeah, these are. This is the uh, Free Flight Six app in a nutshell. Again, I'll go as far as to say the Free Flight Six app. To me, I like the. Uh, I like the interface, I like the FPV view, I like it better than I do the DJI GO app. But what I dislike is the requirement to have to pay to unlock certain features. They need to do away with that. You know, that's, that's a huge pain point for Parrot. But anyway, hope this video is of value. Again, check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order the Parrot and Afi and various accessories online. And be sure to check out all my field test and tutorial videos for the Parrot and Afi. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.